The Whiskey Throttle Show, now available on the Spot Network, an independent standalone streaming platform live now on Apple TV, Roku, Amazon Fire, Google Play, Android TV, most smart TVs, and all phones and tablets. Look for future live shows and specials only available on Spot Network. Download the app today on your favorite device. All right, guys, welcome to a Sponsor Spotlight, and we are here today with Pat Lopez from OGO. Uh, we are psyched to have OGO as a partner of this show. Um, I've been a believer in the product since way back when I was racing, and I literally still have OGO travel bags that I had back then. Um, they just last forever. Uh, the, the, the quality of these things is like on a completely different level. So I'm stoked to have you guys on board. I, I, I make a real big statement every, t- every show, and I try to tell people, look, you can trust the, pro- the partners we have because I will not partner with a brand whose products I don't believe in 100%. Um, we've, we've turned people down because I'm like, mm, I don't really believe in that stuff. So anyway, I hope that says something and people will, yeah. will at least have some trust in what we're, what we're pushing here. So welcome to the show, first of all. Let's just start there. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Thank you for having me. Yeah. I have done one of these before and then I was fortunate to be a co-host with you at one yep. point. Which yep. Was, yep. Super, super cool for me. That personally. Caballero show was pretty good. It was. I learned quite a bit too. Like I've known him for a bit, but no, I think we. Uh, well, and I, I hope think we saw a new side. There, you know, there's definitely it doesn't get the views and numbers that some of these other shows will, like a Ryan Villapoto. But I hope people will give it a chance the next time you're on a drive or you're just looking for something. Go listen to it. It's 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 about skateboarding kind of, but it's not. It's so much more than that. Yeah. And he is such a fascinating person. I really enjoyed that interview, so I'm glad yeah. you're here for it. Yeah. No, thank you. Thank you. Um, so tell us what's going on at OGO. Now, the, the rig has kind of been your guys' you know, major kind of flagship gear bag. Yeah. Uh, and you guys are launching now the Rig Pro. Yes, sir. So tell me what uh, tell me what the Rig Pro is all about. Well, firstly, I want to kind of second what you said as far as like kind of being a part of the brand for a long time, just as an athlete for you and, and myself working at the magazine a long time ago and... I myself have my own personal stories with the brand. So to now represent the brand, it does mean a lot to me. You mm-hmm. know, it's, it's, I like to think that I, I, I want to pick and choose where I want to work and I want to believe in where I work. I have always believed in Ojo yeah. and I get to now represent it and have a part in some of the design and certain things and saying yes and no. And, and I have a great group behind me. I have a really good, authentic, you know, rider base group behind me that's also watched the brand sort of mm-hmm. become what it is. Um, and that's where the rig pro comes into comes into play um for years people always thought the wheels came off you know because it looks it's an allen wrench you know we're, yeah. we're moto heads you know so yeah. right away you just want to put an allen to it they never they never never removable they're now removable so the rig pro comes with a removable wheel um it now has an id patch at the top a little id okay. pocket yep um the one i guess sort of ask i don't want to say complaint it's hard to complain about that bag the rig 9800 but the one ask has always been gosh i just don't like putting my dirty boots in the bag mm-hmm. so we added a boot bag okay. so now you can actually put your dirty boots in it the bag compartmentalizes it so it doesn't get to the rest of the bag the nice thing is no it actually it's it does compartmentalize i, I don't want to say no it doesn't but it's you take the bag in or out oh. you can either carry it with you or you could put it inside um cool the one thing i always told people i said well here's the deal like there is a top compartment to a rig 9800 that you could have always kept your clean stuff you mm. could have always put your dirty boots in there yeah. um you know it's easily washable you know things but like that I, i'm a but little bit uptight i'm probably the same way where i don't want that dirt floating around down there in the bottom of my bag all the time yeah so like a lot of times i would just leave my boots out of it you know mm-hmm. i'd throw them in the back of my truck but it is nice to have it all contained in one spot yeah so i may have to order one of these from you and uh, be able to put my boots in that bag. I like that. Absolutely. No, it, it works. There's no doubt about it. I mean, we had to answer, I think a couple of questions and, and just, it's been 20 plus years with the bag, yeah. you know? Um, so yeah, we just sort of answered a few of the asks. Like I said, they weren't complaints per se. Okay. People still, it's still the number one used, you know, gear bag in our industry. I'm sure you know? by far as yeah. it should be, uh, with the wheels, I wonder, is it like when it gets stuck on a conveyor sideways or something right. and wears a flat spot, is that why yeah. people would want yeah. to replace 100%. it? 100%. Okay. Cause yeah. you could toss those bags and nothing happens. Yeah. I know at the end of my riding days, um, I could, yeah, I'm just, oh, like just throwing the bag out. And, well, when we used to yeah, travel so. internationally, we would, uh, you get to those escalators at like, you know, we'd get there late when there's no one there and we would race, we, we would let our bags go down the escalator. Uh-huh. 
hide and go shoot in a suit could shoot it the farthest out. So yeah. we beat the hell out of these things. And yep. like I said, I'm still using bags from 20 years ago. Yep. Yep. It's and, crazy. and myself included. I mean, honestly, and it is that sled technology. Yeah. Um, on, you know, on the, the rig 9800, which again, we, we don't go away from that. The rig pro has the sled, the rig T3 has the sled. It's somewhat of a signature to the brand at this point, as certainly in our gear bags. Um, and trust me, if we thought we needed to improve it, we would, you know, <laughs> yeah. there's no doubt about there's it, no need but, to. but no, honestly, just the we, little, little we details. Don't. We don't yeah. need to, you know, and now with the new colorways, the taco Tuesday, the coyote, which is. People are loving it. Um, mm. We have a really good rep group behind us again. Are you selling um, the donut one too? That's was coming. That? Okay. Yeah, the Jet. Oh, the jet, the jet Lawrence possibly coming out with that at the, well, the listen, end of the year. My yeah. daughters are both fully in love with Jet Lawrence. Uh -huh. So, like, they're going to probably want to buy one of those bags just because it's uh, got donuts on it. Yeah. Um, I don't yeah. see you having trouble selling those. No. Um, no. So... You got a million other accessories, though, that I, and I think a lot of people don't know all the things that OGO makes. Yeah. Um, hydration packs, which you sent me one we used for an off-road oh, shootout. Worked that's awesome. Right. That's right. And, and I mean, if you're going on off-road rides that are two, three, four hours and you're not wearing one of these, like, you're blowing it. Because you don't, I got used to it, didn't even know I had it on. Yeah. Except that I kept reminding myself, oh, take a drink. And I put, uh, you know, recovery drink in it. And so at the end of the day... I wasn't dehydrated. Like normally I'll go three, four, five hours if we're testing or doing something like that. And I, I'm not drinking much. Yeah. We're, we're on the bike the whole time. And especially us moto guys, like once you use one, you realize like, what was I ever thinking? And it's not that obviously a lot of people think you're just charging down the road and you're trying to take a drink while you're riding. It's usually, you know, a trail ride or something like that. You're stop, yeah. you're, you know, you're talking yeah. for a minute and you kind of just wet the whistle. Like yep. you just, once you use one, you realize, wow, like, yeah. what was I ever thinking? But yeah, we have, um. And it doubles like, as a, you can throw some tools in there, yeah. some snacks, like whatever you want. Yeah. So it's question. really like a, a, a toolkit yeah. slash hydration. Pack. Yeah. I saw Ricky Brayback today. They're doing the rip to the tip or one of those types of rides. And I saw him today with his, I think he had the Atlas, kind of the more simple pack. Mm -hmm. You have the Dakar, mm -hmm. um, which has everything. But uh, I think he was using the Atlas today and that wasn't for a race or anything. Like he just knew he needed it. And yeah. Everybody else that was on that ride too. Well, if you um, said, okay, you're going to go exercise for four hours right now and you can't drink any fluids, yeah. you'd be like, yeah. what? I mean, yeah. it's stupid. You, of course yeah. you should be replenishing fluids. Yeah. Um, this lets you do it and you don't even, yeah, no downsides to it. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I love that. The helmet bag, the boot bag. I think a lot of people don't know you have a boot bag. Yeah. You know, I always kind of joke about it. I guess like what, in our world, you're only as good as your last race. And I think people do kind of think, oh, I remember seeing an ad of a, of a goggle case or something like that. But obviously we kind of have to keep showing it yeah, off you yeah. know because you're always going to do your last race but um yeah we have like really one of the most renowned sort of goggle cases it's been around forever once somebody uses it just like the hydration like wow was i ever thinking um same thing with the helmet bags we have a couple of different versions a head case um which is a little bit more kind of pliable a little bit uh, it actually comes with a t3 um a little bit uh, just more simple mm -hmm. um, but spots you know for different lenses things like that but then we also have a more kind of hard shell almost turtle sort of case. It's called the ATS, which stands for above the shoulder. Hmm. So it could also, it could have goggle space four little goggle spots, obviously the helmet and it will hold a neck brace as well. Hmm. So that's the ATS. It's the above the shoulder. Um, a lot of people that have challenges on like, Oh my gosh, I forgot this or I forgot that, which I've been there before. Like, Oh my gosh, I forgot my boots or I forgot my goggles, something yeah. bad, you know, like, Whoa, um, that kind of solves that problem. Um, yeah. I have some riders that I'm like, Hey, just take you this. need this. Hey, Alex Ray, um, <laughs> how about you just uh, take this and then you will never have to worry about your goggles or anything. Yeah. Throw a uh, sketchy patch on it. And you're all set. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Um, but yeah, uh, that's a couple of the different accessories we have. Obviously travel, um, overhead, you know, carry on some um, in this day and age, you have to pay for all that stuff. Um, we have backpacks that actually slide, you know, right onto the handle. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, literally if, if all of a sudden you slide your backpack onto this carry on, you realize, wait a minute, that's actually a nice size duffel at this yeah. point yeah so yeah you go somewhere come back i mean you just saved yourself anywhere from a couple hundred bucks you yeah. know um and so yeah we definitely have uh, uh a very and, and those are a, designed a, a lot of travel bags they say they are but the ogo ones just you go in wheels first and the overhead bin slide it right in it fits perfectly fits perfect yeah fits perfect definitely with the residencies this year um you know, I handle all the orders for the teams, this and that. And it was funny, the first couple orders were coming through, they're all getting the carry-ons. And within probably a week or so, um, I had one of the kind of, I don't know, more thoughtful kind of forward thinking team managers hit me up and say, hey, you know what? We're doing 10 days on the road. We might need to get that on you 29, which was, 
used to, I think, be called the Terminal at one point. Mm. Um, but on OGOPowerSports.com, it's called the ONU 29. Okay. And that's a check-on bag. They all realized, wait a minute, we need a check-on bag. I immediately got on the phone and sort of let everybody know, hey, guys, we're doing 10 days on the road, you know? Mm. And uh, so, yeah, it just kind of made people realize, you know what? Yeah, there is another bag to choose. Um, kind of helped me out because I could kind of show it off a little bit more sure. with photos and people actually using the product. It's a great thing is people really are using the product. They need it every single weekend. Um, and then now we're actually coming out with more of a kind of a four, it's called the four wheel drive kind of version where it's all, you know, four wheels where you can kind of wheel it in front of you and kind okay. of get through the aisles a little bit kind of simpler. Yeah. Um, I could kind of do it. I think if you're young enough, you kind of get through like just whatever, you know, go through the aisle, but just banging elbows all the way down. A little bang, bit, bang. a little bit. You're never going to see him again. Right. Just, <laughs> I don't go. know these people. Yeah. I don't know these people, but yeah, we're, we're sort of updating that version to some new colorways, things like that. It's what OGO is known for. Our product's amazing. So to be honest with you, we don't really need to tweak on our project or on our product too much, but have a little fun with it. Yeah. And, uh, you know, the flavor is what I think what OGO is. Well, I know that's what OGO is about. Yeah. That's what I remember it as. Well, and it's cool seeing these different designs because it, it's, you know, some people want a, a clean, simple bag, but other people want donuts and Taco Absolutely. Tuesdays. <laughs> it helps you find your bag, too. Yeah, for sure. It helps you find your bag, there's no doubt. You guys also make, uh, I don't want to call it a tool belt or a fanny pack, but what, what would that be like? Because I have one of those at the house. Yeah, we call it the MX450. Okay. It's definitely a fanny pack version. But it's like multiple it things really all is. around. Well, yeah, a lot you... of mechanics, I think, all the Pro Circuit guys, that's mm. what they use. Mm. Every single one of those guys. Um, you can put a lot so, of stuff in there. You can because it has, you know, sort of a water resistance. But I think a lot of people don't realize is those water resistant zippers, if you ride off road with it, that's where you put your electronics because the mm. dust doesn't get inside of it. Got so, it. yeah, you have a couple different pockets. You have a pocket in the back that can fit snacks, towels, whatever you may need. It's adjustable. So depending on, you know, what you have, if it's not too full, you can still kind of, you know, lose that space that might be empty mm. in there. Um, but certainly for off road and, and mechanics, I mean, that's. Well, it's fat kids. I mean, cake and cookies here, right? Starbursts. I mean, you know, you just really line it up. <laughs> fat kid loves cake. Yeah, yeah. There's no doubt. There's no doubt. Um, what else you guys got? What else for accessories? Um, you know what? Let me think. Let me think. We do have some less expensive. I guess let's just go back to gear bags. You know, we have expensive stuff. You know, the, the Rig Pro. I wouldn't say it's expensive. It's worth every penny. Mm -hmm. But certainly, not everybody wants to spend three hundred fifty dollars mm -hmm. on a gear bag. Um, the two hundred dollar version of our gear bag is called the Trucker. You kind of could see that rig okay. sort of whole thing. Now we have the trucker. Um, it's 200 bucks, sort of a clamshell type um, bag, but we segmented it off. So rather than like the coffin sort of shape that the uh, Rig Pro has, as well as the T3, which does have dividers if you want to add it, but the coffin's really important for mechanics, and some people use them as travel bags. Mm -hmm. So, but the T3, or I'm sorry, the trucker. That's a, that's a moto specific. Mm. I mean, it has a boot compartment. It has a helmet compartment. You could access your helmet, you know, without opening the bag, things like that. So I would say if anything, um, category wise, I'd want to go back to that gear bag, um, spot because it's $200, um, cool colors, uh, more affordable for certain people or people that just don't need the rig pro. Right. Maybe they just, maybe they don't, you know, have three sets of gear. They just kind of run what they, what they brung. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, that's probably the 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 next version of, of product wise but i think another thing i want to hit on is honestly our our dealer base has grown so much like we've done such a good job i think well i, I give it to our reps obviously the the product the marketing um, but on the sales side our, our sales reps um, that are out there we have 20 to 25 independent reps that are that are core like they ride um, it's nice to have those guys speak on the brand yeah. like they could take what i'm saying or what you're saying and as well as their own experiences with the brand. A lot of them used to do OGO back in the day, and they've kind of come back with this um, sort of uh, structural, I guess, resurgence that we've done because the brand's never gone anywhere. Right. But structurally, we've kind of, I think, put it back together a little bit um, more in a core kind of a way. Um, so, yeah, I, I would say just our, our sales staff, um, you can hit me up. If, if any dealers out there, if you need to figure out who your rep is, you probably already know. But, yeah, Pat Lopez at OGOPowerSports.com, and I can get you right in touch with, with the guy. And, the Perfect. nice thing is I trust every single one of them, like mm -hmm. wholeheartedly. Yeah. And, and I listen to what they have to say. And, and uh, I think that's super, super important um, from athlete, again, to product. And then just having those, that boots on the ground. And the other brands they rep, um, they're all A. Yeah. A brands. You know? um, the, other, the other product that I love from OGO, because I, I guess I'm a big backpack guy. I carry one with me everywhere I go, um, whether it's to the station or like I literally have my backpack with me all the time. Cause I put my wallet in there, my laptop, 
anything that's important in this thing. And uh, I've had the same OGO backpack for over 10 years. Yeah. I mean, I, I laugh because I'm like, I probably need a new one, but I don't. It's yeah. still fine, you know. So the one I gave you, your daughter has it? No, no, no. The one you <laughs> gave me, kidding. I'm going to use for road riding. <laughs> I'm just, yeah. I'm just yeah, kidding. Yeah, that's what I'm going to use I'm that one for. I appreciate your humor. <laughs> You've been here all day. You son of a bitch. <laughs> I'm sorry. Just don't get on my right side, dude. You're going to go sit on my right side. I'm going to go over you? there in a minute. You are, huh? If you feel something, <laughs> some pressure along over here, don't worry. Uh, but no, you're right. Like the backpack line, and, and that is, it's the Rev Pack. And I'd love to say that we've changed that bag a ton. Oh, we have not. We have not <laughs> needed to. We've changed yeah. the name a couple times here and there because we do have a lot of different categories. We have golf categories. Yeah. We have lifestyle categories. We have our power sports category, which ogopowersports.com. That's that's the world we live in. Um, it's the Rev Pack. That's the one you're probably talking about. Um, that's the hard shell looking one. Yeah, that's there's one. That's not the one I've had for ten years. That's that's a new one you sent me that I wanted to for just ride my road bike. Yes, 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 yes. Um, there's definitely a version of that. And then we also have some newer, you know, it's called the Drifter. It's called the, uh, the Rally. Um, a little more simpler design. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't say like newer or, or different in any way, but I would say probably just a more updated version where I think maybe you and I would love that Rev Pack because we're sort of doing maybe business, whereas maybe some of the riders, like since I mentioned Alex Ray, Alex just needs the Rally Pack. Hmm. That's what he needs. You know, super simple. simple. Yeah. yeah, super simple. Um, a little more updated, um, sort of modern. Um, which so, one did I have from like 10 years ago? That one's called the old fart. The, me or the, the Metro. I'm, uh, I'm pretty sure it's the Metro. Uh, that's what all the mechanics use. That's what everybody used. Okay, There's yeah. going to be a version of that coming again. Um, well, but, I've had uh, a I, I can't believe that I've had this thing for 10 years and I'm literally, it goes with me every day. Yeah. That's so, awesome. Yeah. Send me some pics. I will. It, yeah. It's, uh, it, like I said, all your stuff. It's crazy. Anytime we go skiing, I have a ski bag yeah. that I've been using for over 10 years yep. and um, stuff holds up like it's so good. It's crazy. It does. Now, like I said before, like, you know, you mentioned it, it seems like a lot of different, I mean, obviously we support the industry as best we can as far as different, you know, versions of podcasts and things like that. Um, and it's really, really cool to kind of sit back and just watch the stories flow mm -hmm. because I mean, whether you work, if you and I worked a booth, whether it's in uh, uh, sea otter, to, you know, a local race, you would trip out on the stories that these people come up and tell you. Of bags they have? Yes. Yeah. Yes. I mean, from doctors, like, this thing sits in surgeries with me. That's what I, I remember. This is guy at, mm. at, it was Sea Otter. He's like, this thing has been through so many, what, I forget what doctor it was, huge surgeries. Proctologist? Yes. A proct that's yeah. what it was. Yeah. 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 All up in people's asses. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Why not? You don't want to know the asses this bag has seen. <laughs> no, but it's, it's wild. Like, I mean, truthfully, the, the stories you get from a bag company, yeah, a luggage company. And you know what? That's what we do. Like, that's the one thing we do. I know a lot of bags are out there and I'm sure they're great. They'll get you where you need to be. But I think we all know, like, you know, there is a, there is a, a tip of the, the spear yeah. and, and you definitely, if you spend the money, there's a darn good chance you're going to have that bag for a long time. Yeah. yeah. And if you look at the price of a janky ass, you know, uh, gear bag from somewhere else yeah. um you're gonna spend not much less than what like the trucker or something yeah but you're getting much less you know you're, you're you actually are. hosing yourself so spend the money get something that's yeah. gonna last you right yeah you are um yeah. well cool man amazing products and uh just a cool company i'm so stoked to be involved with you guys yeah man. thank so, you i always appreciate it thanks for coming I on and I, I i hope you're okay from the roost yesterday i know i blew past you and threw a rock at you or something are you going to be okay? You want me to kiss it? I'll be all right. I can find a band aid. Or... okay. Okay. You going to be, be all right? Okay. All right. Yeah, I think I'll live. I think I'll live. You got me good, though. <laughs> <laughs> Pat did. and I had a little run in at Glen Helen the other day. Uh, whatever. I felt like I was out there for a minute. It took a minute. You were going fast. I was, I was impressed. I was impressed. I was trying. Yeah. yeah for sure. It was very fast. For sure. All right. That's Pat Lopez. Uh, get over to OGO Power Sports. Is there a dash? OGO dash? OGOPowerSports.com. OGOPowerSports.com. And go just look at everything they've got, man. Um, yeah. Like I said, you can't buy a bad quality product. So find the style you like. Find what fits your needs and uh, make a good choice. That's all I got to say. Yep. And the dash, the uh, Instagram, OGO underscore Power Sports. Oh, that's what I'm thinking of. Yeah, OGO that's your, underscore that's Power of. Sports on Instagram. We have Instagram. our own. We have our own Power Sports um, Instagram. So go give it a follow. Um, yeah, otherwise you're going to end up looking at golf bags and, and other stuff. It happens. Which, if you need a golf bag, 
they're high quality as well. Up, I think I get hit up more for moto golf bags <laughs> at this point. Like it's always in the <laughs> supercross ends, motocross starts and wow, everybody wants golf yeah. bags for that. Yeah. Two yeah. Weeks. Well, you know, that's but, part of the national training. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. All good. But. All right, guys. Uh, that's Pat Lopez from OGO. Stay tuned. We'll be back to wrap the show up. Thanks for watching the Whiskey Throttle Show. Don't forget to like and subscribe and click the bell to get alerts for all the latest content. Follow us on Twitter at W underscore throttle underscore show and on TikTok, Facebook, and Instagram at Whiskey Throttle Show.